How is it going, you lovely lot? Welcome back to Park to Prem. Today is episode number 100, and we're ending the season today. Potentially five league matches to play. I want to win the Premier League. Last year we bottled it. This year, we could bottle it again. You can see here our five final games of the year. Arsenal, West Brom, Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea. We have trips to Anfield and Old Trafford to end the year. In all honesty, whilst it would look like a bottle if we don't win it from here, when you consider that the kind of pre-season prediction has, well, four of the teams we're playing in this last five run ahead of us, it is going to be very tough today. If we win the league, we're going to have earned it. And, well, to make things even more spicy, you know, not there wasn't spicy enough already, first game of today's episode is against Arsenal. If we lose it, our fate is out of our hands. If we win it, we have one hand on the trophy. Today is going to be an absolutely bonkers episode. Let's get strapped in, let's run the intro, and get straight into things, shall we? Now, first things first, before we get into today's episode, I do just want to kick things off with a little bit of a thank you for the support on this series. We are still consistently getting 20,000 views an episode. That is absolutely insane for a series which hits 100 episodes in, in the age of YouTube, I suppose, and internet content in 2024. Long-form content isn't meant to do this well, so thank you to you guys who do come back on the regular to watch the series. I'm glad so many of you are enjoying it. Hopefully, we're going to mark today's occasion with a good result. Now, since last episode I have played two games, one was the FA Cup semi-final, one was a Premier League game, both against Wolverhampton Wanderers. This game in the FA Cup we won 2-1, wasn't particularly convincing, in the end Karim Kanate's all-important goals got us back from behind and of course he has stepped into the team with Sam Faye injured to end the year and in fact he is still injured at least right now but yeah Kanate came up clutch great to make an FA Cup final that'll be coming your way in tomorrow's episode alongside kind of a bit of an end of season wrap up and the other game that we had was a game that had we won we would be in a much better position but sadly having gone down against Wolves yet again we had to fight back for something. On this occasion, though, we couldn't muster up two goals. In the end, Misiak's 74th minute goal got us a crucial point, and it could prove crucial. Of course, Wolves are a team currently 7th in the Premier League. They are not a bad team by any means, but when you look at the league table, probably should have been beating them. So the plan of attack for today's episode is to win the league or play until we can no longer win the league, whichever happens first. It means that we've got five games to get through today. First game, potentially the toughest, Arsenal at home. Let's talk about the team news. So I mentioned Sam Fay is out injured. He is in fact the only player still out injured in our team who would probably make the starting 11. The other player who I suppose you could argue could be near the first team would be Mark Anderson. He's currently out with a minor injury, hasn't done a fitness test for a tight Achilles, but equally he's not been starting for us lately. Riviere has been coming into the team and to be fair, when you look at his performances in his last five or so games, He's been a bit of a revelation for us. The rest of the team here remains at its strongest, I think. I say that. I'm looking at Snedden at centre-back thinking, you've not been great today. I'm also looking at the fact I've got NDIA and Alex in the team. You might be sat thinking, what's going on there, Jack? Uh, I'll be honest, Lehman has just annoyed me lately. He did actually have a really good performance on off the bench against Wolves where he got an assist. So maybe you could argue he should be in the first team. The other man who has been dropped from the first team, is Huari. Huari's form lately has been absolutely tragic. And I do believe, you know, form is something to pick players on in Football Manager. When a player has good morale and good average ratings and good recent form, you know, it feeds into itself. And when players aren't playing so well, sometimes pulling them out the first team is needed. What I would say in my defence is the two players coming into the team in Alex at left-back and NDIA at centre-back are two pretty bloody accomplished players. It might be controversial that I'm starting them in this game here, but I have been making this change in the last couple of games, and obviously it did see us get an okay-ish result against Wolves. I said we drew 1-1. One, one. It wasn't okay at all, but I'm sticking with my guns. This is the team I'm going with. So we are currently training Arsenal by one point, but we do have a game in hand. What that does mean is if we can secure a win here, we'd be in an amazing position. We'd have a game in hand. We'd already be clear of them by a few points and winning our game in hand would put us in pole position to wrap things up without full pressure on the remaining games against Liverpool, Manchester United. And Chelsea, I mean, you can see the situation here. We have better goal difference as well. There are five games left of the season for us. Three left, or no, four left of the season for Arsenal. We need to be at our best. 
And to be fair, after last episode, I'm, I'm a bit nervous, you know, going into this. This is, this is a big game against Arsenal. This is, you know, the episode in a nutshell. If we lose this, it will set the tone for today. If we win this, it'll set the tone for today. If we draw it, I don't know what it means. Let's not overanalyze it. We have really tricky games. I feel like if we go on to win the league from here, we will have earned it. Speaking of which, Roger Rojas, you might have spotted there. He's back in the team is Roger Rojas. We all love Roger, has been out injured. He's back in the team. NDIA, who I've brought back in, the team has given away the ball here and now Fabiano is bringing it forward and Cho's shot is only just wide. Arsenal do still have a corner here that we need to deal with. It's Martinelli over it. There are players queuing up in the middle. Saliba is one of them. Bolton though wins a monstrous header. We're going to get it away from danger. We have got a two on two here on the counter attack but I've watched enough football manager to expect this to be a pointless highlight. I mean could it surprise me? Bolton to the byline, inside to Kanate. I'm starting to believe it could be dangerous. Kanate shoots, oh my word, Ramsdale, not convincing goalkeeping. If you were wondering, by the way, Jack, why are all the advertising boards black? I tried to install a mod to add in all the correct, like, sponsors and stuff for the Premier League. You can see we've got Sky Sports, we've got BT Sports, we've got the Premier League logo. It's broken all the digital boards. It's not that the clubs run out of money and we can't afford the electricity bills to pay for our advertising hoardings. It's a user error. I suppose. Either way, it's not the end of the world. I don't think Martinelli could bring on the end of the world, though. If Arsenal score, here, Nwaneri shoots over. It's been a bit end-to-end -to, -end to start this game. We've had 12 shots inside the first 20 minutes. Neither team holding back just yet. We have been a little bit behind in terms of match momentum, for what it's worth. I'm going to shout some words of encouragement, try and get the players up for this game. 10 minutes left to the half. Arsenal with a throw-in in a dangerous area here. Short to Martinelli. Bolton puts in an initial tackle, but it's still in a dangerous area as Nwaneri plays it back. João Neves forward. Ortiz, oh my word, that's a really good goal. I, it could be offside. I'm going to pray it's offside. It's an annoyingly good goal. I can't really be mad about the goal that we've just conceded there. For once, I won't blame her dad. Is it going to count? It is going to count. And I'll be honest, when I saw it go in, I kind of felt like it was just onside. You can see here, the build-up play was nice by Arsenal. It's this little dink through. And Ortiz on the volley smashes into the top corner. Her dad had no chance. If we lose here, it's so bad for our aspirations for the remaining games. There is a chance, by the way, that we just fizzle out of a title fight. We don't even get to the Chelsea game to end the, the episode with a chance of winning the title. I'm going to hope that isn't what happens. We need to show some fights here. Can we show something? Riviere, welcome back to the first team. Welcome back to the score sheet. That's the response we needed. Alex on the far side, throwing it short to Riviere. A little bit of build-up play between the left-back and our two centre mids. And ultimately, it falls to the Frenchman, someone who we signed back when we were in the Championship who's still coming up on the big stage with important goals. That one is massive before the break. I think we can consider ourselves a little fortunate to be in this game at 1-1. We were a little slow to get going in this game. Arsenal started well too. Going to get a shouty-shouty at the players. Missy Axe crying. Uh, I'll tell him I believe in him. He's now inspired. Everyone else has reacted well. Looking at Roger Rojas and Kanate to maybe step up in the second half. Right, you know what? The two players who I brought into the team and was being brave with, NDIA and Alex, they've both picked up bookings. You know what? We'll just make, we'll make a double change now. Why not? Elsewhere, Rojas has not been good enough today, but I think at least for now, I am going to keep him on the pitch. In our play here... It's still 1-1. I mean, given the fact we've got a game in hand, a draw isn't actually a bad result for us. A draw would mean that our fate is still very much in our own hands. Win our game in hand, we'd go back ahead of Arsenal. But given the fact that Arsenal have created more in this game, you know what? I kind of expect them to score at some point. So we need to make something happen. I think Haddad made a save there. It's still nervy at uh, this game thus far. There's 25 minutes left. Martinelli's whipping it in. Saliba's under it. And well, Huari, who's only just come on, has won a massive, massive header there. We now have a chance with Celic. Quick free kick. Kanate. Huari! I thought the sub was about to have an immediate impact. Okay, corner on the far side. Celic is over it. We have the ability to go short here. Misiak dispossessed. It goes out for a throw-in. And now Misiak's on the floor. Their player's on the floor. And that's that's the highlight. Lovely. Okay, Misiak is struggling with his injury. I'm bringing in Murphy and Goma. If there was a time to step up, it's now. Elsewhere, Areco on Newcomb. Bolton has been poor. 
a ride back today, but I don't really have a, an option to bring on for him. Celik also has been really disappointing today, but I'm going to keep him on, move him into the striking area and bring in David Gilliland. That's the play I'm going with. I feel like I have to keep Celik on. He's just one of those players, isn't he, in Football Manager. Even when he's having a bad game, moment of magic can happen from him. I need magic now. Not from Arsenal, might I add. Martinelli's over a free kick for them. Haddad really should have this covered from here. It's a dangerous free kick, though. It has just gone over. 10 minutes left. It's nervy. It's scary. Arsenal with a set piece of their own here in a potentially dangerous area. Garner is the man over it. We've got plenty of players back. We need to deal with this. And we haven't dealt with it. Saliba, back post header, set piece goal, 2-1 Arsenal. Ball was whipped in and yeah, just at the back post. We had players there. None of them able to win it. Arsenal take the lead and that is a massive swing in the title fight. With that there, I have to change things up, don't I? I have to do something different. And in terms of what I am going to do different, I think I'm going to throw players forward. You know, it worked for us quite well last game, didn't it? When we threw a few men into the final third. I feel like we need that again here. Let's try and get the ball forward that little bit quicker. Out of possession. We already pressed so high, but let's get stuck in and step up. And elsewhere, in transition, get it out quickly. Get it to the flanks. If things stay as they are right now, Arsenal are going to be, I think, four points clear of us. And whilst we'll have a game in hand, it's going to be a difficult game. There's seven minutes of added time. I need something here, lads. Give me some reason to cheer. Celic, corner. I'm starting to believe. Huari's under it. It's headed away. Gilliland, though, the youngster, through our academy, he keeps it alive. To Huari. We've got so many players committed to the attack. Bolton. We need something. We need a moment of inspiration. Riviere, the goal scorer for us, lays it wide to Bolton. We have the ball in a dangerous area. Gilliland can't get there. Back to Bolton. Back post. A reco's under it. Headed away, but only as far as Lee Min. He's got an option short. He's got an option at the back post. And Ramsdale collects it. There is 60 seconds left. We need something. We need a miracle. Ramsdale is just going to waste as much time as possible here. We've got so many players committed to the attack. We're leaving ourselves open, but we just have to go for it. The ball's forward. He's fallen to Celic. He scored. The flag's up on the far side. I think it's offside. I don't want to celebrate it. I think it's Gilliland who's offside here. Oh, the decision to keep Celic on. It could have been genius. But the goal isn't going to count. How close was this offside? I need closure, football manager. This here might be the difference between a Premier League title and second. It's so close. It's half a metre, half a yard. And with that, this game's done. Oh, it's so disastrous for us. It was such an even game, to be fair. In the second half, there was a shift of momentum. They scored completely against the run of play with that set piece. And when you look at the league table now, we're four points behind them. And we need a miracle. We still have Chelsea, Manchester United and Liverpool to play. If you're wondering, Jack, what are Arsenal's games? Tottenham, Leicester, Newcastle. None of them are particularly difficult games, you'd have to say. Tottenham are down in 16th. Arsenal could relegate Tottenham with a good result there. Oh, that was, that was, that was the title there, I think, that game. And it's gone early. I mean, the worst thing here is I've committed to recording up to five matches today and the wind's been taken out of my sail after game one. We trained tomorrow. I wasn't happy. We were, I want to say we were second best. We were second best in many aspects. I feel like second half we turned it around. We were the better team, but the damage was done in the first half and to concede a set piece is really poor. I mean, we're one win away from securing second for a second year in a row. That'd be fun. Really, really love being the bridesmaid and never the bride. We have confirmed our qualification for the Conference League, so that's exciting. I want Champions League football, though. I think we have already guaranteed that, and football managers just been a bit slow. Anyway, our next game for us is in a week's time. We are going to be taking on West Brom. You might remember we took on West Brom at the end of last year, didn't we? That was the game that we needed to win emphatically, and we couldn't win it by enough goals to win the title. Elsewhere, just looking at the upcoming games, Arsenal-Tottenham is the earlier kickoff on Saturday the 5th. I'll come back for that. Okay, look, of all the games that we have today, this next one against West Brom in 17th should, and I will stress, should be the most straightforward. Tottenham, they're in 16th. If Arsenal beat them, Tottenham could be in some trouble with relegation potentially looming. Can Tottenham, however, do me a favour? We've bottled it against Arsenal. Can Tottenham beat Arsenal? No. <laughs> no, they can't. Uh, Arsenal have won 3-0 there. To be honest, in terms of how this result could have gone... 
couldn't have really gone much worse. Yeah, Arsenal bolstering their goal difference a little bit, pulling ahead away from us. They have two games left of the year. They are seven points clear. We have to win this next game. And also, Man City, they look light years behind us. Given the games we've got to end the year and the fact they've just won 7-0, we could still slip down to third. Okay, it is second against 17th. In terms of team news, we are pretty much at full strength. Sam Faye, coming back from injury, failed his fitness test, shouldn't be selected. We'll put him on the bench for intimidation value. In terms of the rest of the team, it is fairly standard. Lee Min, Huari, back into the team. Of course, dropped them both for the last game against Arsenal. Brought them both on, and we played way better with them on the pitch, so... Yeah, that'll, that'll teach me for tinkering, won't it? If we don't win this game against West Brom, simply put, we do not deserve to win the Premier League. I mean, we probably still don't deserve to win it, even if we do beat them. We need a good, emphatic performance here. Let's get the confidence juices flowing. An early goal would certainly set the tone. Of course, like I mentioned before, we played them at the end of last year. We spanked them at the end of last year, and it wasn't enough of a spanking, was it? On this occasion, it's a slightly different proposition. We just need three points. Her dad collects a ball there with six minutes played. It is chucking it down with rain here in rugby. Let's hope that isn't going to set the tone for what to expect today. Her dad gives it straight to Domenge. Domenge. To What's that thing called in like media where it's raining and that reflects like a bad mood? I think it's called like, is it called pathetic fallacy or something? This is, I think it's called pathetic. I feel like that's what's happening here. It's raining and we're, we're it's pouring. The old man is not snoring. He's moaning at his TV because football manager's rubbish. It's 1-0. I've called myself old there. I'm not even that old. Just to confirm, yeah, pathetic fallacy. When things in nature reflect the, the mood or the emotion of people. It's raining here. I feel sad. We have to come back from behind. Can the sun come out or something, please? Chelik, Bolton, Kanate, you donkey. I didn't think things could get worse than last episode. I mean, at the moment, it is actually going worse. I know we've not conceded seven and Erlen Ireland hasn't pulled down my pants, but we're not that far away from it. I mean, what would you rather have pull your pants down? Erlen Haaland or West Brom? I'm going to say Erlen Haaland. Misiak is bringing it forward. Right, we need a comeback. We need a miracle. Where is Misiak going? He gives it to Ken. Riviere, he scored last game. Can he score again here? It's deflected in. Don't celebrate it. It's not even his goal heap. Gives us a way back into things. When Misiak was running towards the corner here, I didn't really know what to expect. He has managed to pull it back well, and then Riviere pulls the trigger, and it's deflected in. The shot itself wasn't even on target. I'd be embarrassed to celebrate that if I was Riviere. Okay, well, we got one goal back. There's a kickoff highlight immediately. West Brom may be about to fill the one-two blow of Rugby Town, or maybe they're about to launch an e instant reply, and I'm just going to be sat crying again. Garcia Leone to Broya. Quarry reads it well. There's only 25 minutes played here. It feels like we're in the late stages of things and things are getting desperate. There's loads of time. I need to relax. Riviere to Chelik. Options ahead. Bolton is one of them. Players queuing up in the middle. Free to aim for. The right back puts it in. Is that another own goal off Heap? He scored two own goals for us. I might have to sign Jerry Heap. Remember the name. I mean, at this point, he might be in the running for our player of the year. Mike Jerry Heap. He's got two goals for us in a must-win game. What a comeback. Ball to win the ball in. And uh, yeah, their number four has put it into the bottom corner superbly. If you are wondering, Jack, how much did you pay Jerry before the game? Can't disclose, you know, under the table dealings. There was some money exchanged. Right, we're back in this game. We're ahead in this game. Let's make sure we get a few more goals so I can actually enjoy watching the end of this game. This was meant to be the straightforward game. This was meant to be the relaxing game. Bolton goes down in a heap. I don't think that was in the penalty area. The AR is going to check it. I don't think it was in the penalty area. It's a rare highlight in Football Manager where we get the, was it in the box or wasn't it in the box replay? It looked outside the box to me. I'd love to be wrong. It's not, it's not a penalty. It's not a penalty. I mean, we do have a free kick still. Not even going to get shown it. Ten minutes left to the half. Two on to the good. We're not really enjoying ourselves here just yet. A goal, though, would help lighten the mood. Misiak bringing it forward yet again. Play... Get Kanata. I'm subbing off Kanata. It might be reactionary. He's coming off a reco on your cum. I've seen him miss two shots this game. I've had enough. We've got him off the pitch. Is that overreacting? You know, if you thought I was petty last episode when I subbed in Schumacher in goal, maybe I've gone, gone even worse here. It's quite Mourinho-esque, isn't it, to sub off a player during the first half? Not even for tactical reasons. I just think he's been playing craply. 
If Areco now scores, I'll look like a genius. If we go on to lose this game, I'll look like a bit of an idiot. Bolton, Celic, bringing it forward, shoots. I don't know how that's gone in from there. I'm not going to complain. It's 3-1. Relax, everyone. Bolton picked up the ball in the middle, gave it to Celic. He will be given an assist for this, but let's be honest, it was all about the shot. I say that, it was all about the terrible goalkeeping, really, but we won't complain. Well, I was hoping we'd get in at the break at, well, two goals to the good. If we could go in at three goals to the good, that would make the rest of this game significantly more relaxing. Ken with the ball, lays it forward to Lee Min. Forward to Areco, one-on-one. -on -one. Can he score? He's still got the ball. Can he score? He lays it. Rojas shoots. Areco assists. I'm a genius. I'm not sure what the whole I'm a genius thing is. It's like, point at that. It's like I'm pointing at my brain. Yeah, I have a brain, people, apparently. I mean, if you don't, <laughs> I don't know how you're here right now. Areco, Rojas, that did deflect in, didn't it? Not going to complain. 4-1, we are good. This game was meant to be the relaxing game to start the year. It didn't start off like that. It suddenly feels like it now. Okay, we are approaching the hour mark here. We've got a week's rest. Then we take on Manchester United. Then we have Liverpool in a midweek game and then Chelsea the following weekend. The last three games are in the space of a week. So the temptation with that in mind, maybe to just rest some legs here just a little bit, given the fact that we are approaching the end of the year. One more goal here and I'll make some changes. Even if we don't score here, probably will also make some changes. Sneddon. To Huari. Options on the left hand side. We've got a bit of an overload here if we want to use it. Lee Min, loads of space to the left back. Get into the byline, crossing it in, cleared away. Stuart Masters, our former man, is there. Bolton wins it ahead of him. We still have the ball here. Misiak, edge of the box. Shot off the woodwork. Okay, I'm going to make five changes here. Bolton, Ken, Celic, Misiak, and obviously Kanate already off the pitch. Resting a few of the big guns in the final third. Really can't risk another injury in the striking area and the attacking mid area, given the fact that Faye is already out. When you actually look at the stats for this game, it's been a very, very close game. Like the XG, they've actually had a higher XG, but we've taken the chances that have come our way. We needed to get a win. We are going to get the win here. Added time to come up. We've dominated the ball. Six minutes. This is done. Not particularly happy with this performance, but we have managed to win 4-1 in the end. Shout out to Jerry. His brace inside a minute really did set the kind of team on its way. We've done what we needed to do. Not happy about how we've done it. So our next game is away from home against Manchester United. We have qualified for the Champions League. Have budgets been set for the upcoming season? Oh my word, they have. Wait, do we have wage budget now? We have wage budget! I need to renew some contracts. There's a few players who are very unhappy at the moment that I won't give them new deals. Also, I can rejig the budgets. Oh my word. Just give me all the wage budget. I've got £700,000 wage budget. I've never felt so happy. That's almost distracted me from the fact that we've completely bottled the title today. I say completely bottled. Look, there's still hope. There's still time. Our next game is against Manchester United at the exact same time. Arsenal play Leicester. <sighs> Arsenal play Leicester. Leicester, do me a favour. That game's in a week. Don't go anywhere. Game number three coming right up. Okay, folks, game number three today, Manchester United. If we lose this game and Arsenal win... We can't win the league. And this episode ends very, very anticlimactically. A win here would be massive, not just for the title fight, but maybe, just maybe, to give us a little bit of a psychological edge because in the FA Cup final, we've got Manchester United too. Yeah, Manchester United, just the eternal enemy, it appears. This is going to be a tricky game away from home. Manchester United, fifth in the league. They have a good team. We, on the other hand, have a good team too. Although, we have got some injuries. Sam Fay was back and fit for this game. He then got a tight calf in training a day ago. Do I risk him? He doesn't need a fitness test. He should be able to play. But a tight calf? You know what? I think I have to risk it. Elsewhere, Mark Anderson got injured, sadly. So he is out the team. Uh, one thing that I have done between last match and this match is offer some players new contracts. Dexter Sneddon has signed a new contract at the club. He was one player who was unhappy and wanted an extension. A load of other players I've offered new deals to as well. That does include Mosquera, who I've given a new contract to just because his contract's up next summer. I don't want to risk losing him for nothing. Another man who I'm desperate to give a new contract to is Chelic to get rid of his release clause. Of course, that release clause sits at 107 million. When I sat down to talk with his agent, his agent was adamant there had to be a minimum release clause of 109 million pounds. And frankly, giving him a wage rise and a new contract just to up his release clause by two million pounds didn't really feel worth it. So I'm going to hold off offering him a new deal now. 
I definitely need to get it sorted in the summer without a release clause. I don't know what we do if I can't get rid of the release clause. I guess we just sit in fear of one of the big boys coming and signing him, which I really don't want to happen. Anyway, that is a problem potentially for transfer window Jack, not Jack who is sat here right now ready to take on Manchester United at Old Trafford. Never an easy game in Football Manager, never an easy game in this kind of situation here. Like I already mentioned, we really need to win this game. A failure to win this game, we're in trouble. We are going to hope that Leicester can maybe do us a favour as they take on Arsenal. In terms of Manchester United, they've won their last five games in a row. Okay, we need a good start in this game. We need to be at our best. Nothing's happened inside the first few minutes. An early shout to Man Moore and instantly a corner. Whipped in, Huari's under it, cleared away, but only as far as Sam Fay. Because he has got that little injury, we'll keep half an eye on that. But we've got plenty of players committed to the attack here. Bolton at right back. Still no caps for England, by the way, for Bolton. That is absolutely insane. He runs the show for us at right back. He's put the ball in there. It's dealt with initially, but Riviere with a chance to maybe put it back towards Misiak. It floats. It falls onto Roger Rojas's head. The Costa Rican gives us the lead in the 13th minute. There is pressure on us today. There is expectation on us today. We know we have a gauntlet to run. We could beat Manchester United, beat Chelsea and beat Liverpool and still not be crowned Premier League champions. But we want this fight to go down to the wire. And that early goal there, that's going to give us a little bit of belief. Okay, Haddad, goal kick. He is going to look to launch it long. As good as a one goal lead is, I can't help but feel like with our defensive record, we are going to have to score more than one if we want to win this game here. Their goalkeeper is going to lay it wide to Pacho. Now with Forbes at left back. The left back bringing it forward, laying it inside to Mora. Ball given away though. Bolton couldn't get it under control. And Manchester United with players on the attack here. Kliolek loses the ball out to Lehman. The left back has been so good for us, hasn't he, since he joined us. £16 million. Bloody well spent on Lee Min, if I might say so myself. He could be called into some more defensive action here as Manchester United build up the play. Although they're going to switch over to the right and Ferguson there shoots. He was offside. It wouldn't have counted anyway. His shot was off target. I think I'm going to shout some words of encouragement to the players here. Uh, some of them have reacted well to it. Bolton's just sad. As, it, as you are, you know, no, he's not allowed to be encouraged, that boy. He, he likes bad cop, not good cop. Five minutes left of the half here. They've only had one shot on target. This is fine. I'm enjoying this game so far. Look, we've not scored a load of goals in the first half, but what we have done is controlled the game there and limited their opportunities. I'm going to tell the players that I'm not happy and keep them fired up. I know that Sam Fay is carrying that little bit of a knock. I know that we have a midweek game coming up, so I am going to bring in Kanate here. Looking at the rest of the team in terms of performances, we've not been great anywhere truthfully but we're a goal up we've not looked threatened kind of when it comes to our goal so I don't really feel a need to make changes yet Manchester United on the other hand I've just noticed they're making a flurry of changes they've made a whole host of switches we have the ball here Riviere Bolton can we make something happen not not with dribbling like that we can't Manchester United back in possession Manga brings it forward to Williams He's going to let inside tomorrow. The two Spanish players linking up. The ball is dinked forward towards Ferguson as well. One on one in behind. Finds the back of the net. Evan Ferguson scores. I want it to be offside. I don't think it is offside. VAR is going to whisper in the referee's ear. The goal's going to be given two minutes into this second half. I didn't praise the players at time. I got shouty shouty. Apparently, I, you know, I should have been more shouty shouty. I'm going to shout demand more from the sidelines here. Two minutes into the second half. Awful. We did so well in that first half. We looked in control of that first half and one big ball through the middle has just completely unlocked us here. We have, however, got a fight on our hand. We have a set piece here. Celik, options in the middle. Sneddon heads it against the woodwork. I thought he was going to reward me for giving him a new contract with a goal there. He is denied. Elsewhere, by the way, Arsenal are only a goal up against Leicester right now in the 55th minute. So there's still the potential for twists and turns. Both games hanging very much in the balance, at least right now. Manchester United looking much better in the second half. We're already 60 minutes into this game as well. A draw really is not enough for us here. I'm not even sure if with a draw, we can still win the league. It might be relying on a bit of a miracle of results. Rojas to Celic. Look, we have to control our own, our own destiny. We need to get goals. We need a win. Celic puts it in. It falls to Kanate. The super sub 
pops up with another goal. They say diamonds are forged under pressure. And I'll tell you what, Rugby Town, we play under pressure. We thrive sometimes under the occasion. I don't think we're a diamond. We're still a little bit rough. But you know what? We're giving ourselves a good old polish here. It is still only 1-0 in that Arsenal game. It's still 1-0 Leicester. I'm looking at you. I'm praying for you. I'm going to make some changes to freshen things up. Huari's not having a good game. I'm going to bring in Rodriguez, who really hasn't featured in the team that much. Of course, he missed the start of the year for a major injury, and that did really impact his development. Elsewhere, Lee Min at left back, not shining today. I'm going to bring in NDIA. I have one last sub if I want to make it. I'm going to save it for now. There's still 30 minutes left here. Going to encourage the players to focus up here. No one like that. They all reacted badly. How dare I ask them to concentrate having taken the lead. Outrageous. Sneddon, he's concentrating. NDIA on off the bench, sets up the corner. It's 3-1. We're doing what we needed to do. And that is win here. I mean, winning at Old Trafford's going to be tough. We've got Anfield next. You know, isn't it, you, you think, oh, winning against Old Trafford, that's the difficult game of the, the episode gone. No, not really. Anfield in a matter of days. With that goal there, I might live to regret this. I'm taking off Chelik. I'm bringing in Ngoma. I need to save my talismanic creative player for that next game. I feel like the job is done here. Manchester United haven't created a great deal. I know they took that one chance that came their way, but momentum has very much been on our side. There's five minutes left here. Of course, if they get one goal back, I might start to panic slightly. But we have looked good here, and Gilliland is going to lay it wide to NDIA, who's been at the heart of everything we've done since he's come on. He plays it inside. Riviere somehow emerges with the ball... And he should have scored there to put the result beyond doubt. It's blocked away. It's gone out for a corner. We've been dominant in this game. A fourth goal would really just secure things. It put a nice little bow on things. And the bow is going to be put on it. Or is it? NDIA has scored. I think the ball was kicked at him by the defender. There's question marks over offside here. I think it was Snedden with the back post header. Is the goal going to count? It is going to count. It's 4-1. It's a bizarre goal. Murphy and Goma on off the bench to whip it in. Sneddon headed it, hit the woodwork, and then as it was cleared away by their defender, it's just hit NDIA on the arse and gone in. Not going to complain. 4-1. Jobs are good and you'd think. Saying that, <laughs> there is another highlight immediately. We've been given the ball again. I'll tell you what, you know, a bit of confidence, a bit of goal difference as well. An emphatic win here would be nice. You know, away from home against Manchester United. Let's make a statement. Let's scream and shout. Roger Rojas is going to make it five. The tile fight's not over yet. We're going to push Arsenal as far as we can. Saying all of that, I realise I've not actually checked their result in like 25 minutes. Leicester. Leicester, I'm looking at you, Leicester. I'm praying for you, Leicester. Please tell me you're doing me a favour elsewhere, because whilst this goal difference is nice to bolster, it's already massively in our favour. We need Arsenal to drop points. Before I can even look at the, the other things going on, there's another highlight immediately. I mean, should we score a third goal in a minute? That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Manga with the ball, laying it out. Manchester United looking for a bit of a response, but to be honest, even if they score here, which they're not going to, this game's done, isn't it? It's 5-1. There's three minutes left. Arsenal v Leicester is still 1-0. There is added time being played there, Leicester. Please, Leicester, please. I'm begging you, Leicester, they've not done anything yet. I feel like this result here, whilst it might not be for nothing... I wish, we, I wish we'd had a bit of what we've shown here against Arsenal. You know, when we had to play Arsenal, that was the game that really felt the most must win. That said, I mean, let's not knock this performance here. We've been very, very good. We could still get a sick. Rojas takes it down. There's options in the middle. Riviere, NDIA, Kanate, back to goal. NDIA, Ken, NDIA, Riviere. That would have been an incredible goal if it had gone in. The keeper has saved it. There's 40 seconds left here. We're still going for a sixth goal. You've got to respect the hunger of the players to try and make something happen. On this occasion, we can't score from the resulting corner. This game here finishes 6-1. It was 1-0 at the break. Really burst into life later on. And elsewhere, sadly... Arsenal did manage to win. What does that mean for the title fight, I hear you ask? Well, what it means is that when we take on Liverpool midweek, we have to win. If we fail to win that game, Arsenal will finish ahead of us. If we draw against Liverpool, there is still a chance. We would need Arsenal to lose their last game of the year, which is against Newcastle at home. But if they did do that and we won we could still win the league on goal difference, which given the fact we lost the league on goal difference last year would be a biblical way to do it. But... 
it's just a shame they couldn't slip up there, isn't it? It's a great result for us. I should be happy. I can't be, though. Gilliland has signed a new contract. He's happy about that. Mark Anderson, another player, was unhappy and wanted a new contract. He's about to sign a new deal as well. Uh, Chelix agent wants to enter contract negotiations. Not with a release clause. We're not doing it. I'm sorry, Ruby. I know you're awestruck by me. Not going to put me over. Uh, get rid of the release clause and we can talk. Okay, well, we had Liverpool next at Anfield. That game's in four days' time, to be honest, based on the performance I've just seen there. Don't really want to rotate the team for the upcoming game, so I'm going to rest up the players, dust ourselves off. We have to draw to even have the tiniest chance, really, we need to win. Let's see if we can make it happen. Game number four today, Liverpool away. If you are enjoying this video, if you want to help support the series, especially since, you know, it is a rather special episode number, go down below the video, leave a like. Today is a bit of a monster effort to record as many matches as I am and edit them all down into an episode in the space of 24 hours. I feel like that's something that I don't really acknowledge. The fact that we do videos every day that are edited by myself, it's kind of mental. I, I do like to beaver away. Today we are beavering more than most, and I'm hoping that whilst I'm working away with editing Jack, definitely not me, in the editing room, our players are going to beaver away here at Anfield. We need a result. I've rested up the players. Sam Faye, you can see here, not requiring a fitness test. The team is at full fitness. We need to step up. We need a performance. And I'm just going to go with the exact same team that demolished Manchester United last match. Okay, Liverpool coming into this game are... Oh. I was going to say a little bit tired. I'll tell you what else a little bit tired. Lee Min, he's on the injury table. He is going to have to come off Alex. On you come to play left back. Before I was rudely interrupted by that injury, what I was going to say is Liverpool have just crashed out the Champions League semi-final. They've had a lot of midweek games as well. We've given away a penalty. Who pushed who there? Who was it? Name and shame. I think it was Riviere who did some pushing. VAR is going to check it, presumably... The penalty is going to be upheld. It was Bolton, the former Liverpool man, pushing over a Liverpool player. And now, all eyes on her dad. He's not been a superstar since he joined us in goal. But this could have been a defining moment in his rugby town career. He is sent the wrong way. So Bosley scores. It's 1-0 Liverpool. 22 minutes into this game, we find ourselves a goal down. We were in this situation before against Arsenal and we showed a little bit of fight. We need to show even more fights here. And yet, it's Liverpool on the attack again. The ball is whipped to the edge of the box. Alex Valet steps up, hits it. It's half saved. It's still maybe not away from danger here. Liverpool are looking lively in this game. Echeverry has got a knock for them. A few of their players are struggling a little bit with fitness. I need to believe they are going to tire out as this game goes on. There's 10 minutes left of this first half. Match momentum-wise, we started well, they scored, and now we are well, attempting to make a response. There's five minutes left here before half-time. It's not been an inspirational half. Just as a reminder, a defeat here, the title fight is over. We, we kind of throw in the towel, we give up. And at the break, it's 1-0. We have to show something better in the second half. I am going to make changes. I'm going to get us distributing the ball quickly to the flanks, I think, in the second half. I want to make better use of our wingbacks if we can. Bolton is on a booking, having given away that penalty previously. I'm going to take him off and bring in NDIA to play on the right-hand side as a right wingback. Of course, we have trained him to play right back, and he is an either-footed player, so he's very capable of doing that job for us. Elsewhere in the team, do I want to change anything in the final third? I'm looking at Missy and Faye's ratings thinking you're not pleasing me here but I'm going to give them a little bit of time to try and show something in this second half Liverpool were dominant we need at least a point to take it to the final day we have to score a goal we've not looked like doing that so far in this game and well, we could find ourselves on the back foot even further of course Liverpool haven't created a turn a penalty scored for them and now a corner scored from the flag was raised there I don't know if Suslick is offside here I don't think there was anyone on the post for us as he shot it in. Her dad couldn't get down to it. Is the goal going to stand? The answer is no. We are still in it. We're in with a chance. I need to do some stuff. Kanate, you've been our little hero on off the bench. I need some more heroics here. Sanfe, off you come. Oh, what else do I want to change here? Misiak off Ngoma on. I feel like Ngoma, you know, he is the protagonist of this story. He is meant to be the hero. If there's a player to come on and have an impact in this game, it's this man. 
30 minutes left. We've not shown a great deal of fight, to be honest, in this game thus far. We're not looking as lively as I would like to see. I'm going to make further changes here. Alex, up you get. NDIA, I know you can't play right wing back. You're going to have to learn how to do it right here and now. I want to get our wing backs further up the pitch. We're already distributing to the flanks, but rather than looking for the overlaps quite so much, I'm just going to ask the players to hit early crosses. Let's try and get the ball into the final third that little bit quicker. We've got 20 two minutes we need to do something we have a chance perhaps Alex throws it down to Ken Alex with the ball outside the foot cross I thought it was going to go from one wing back to the other NDIA was lurking under it we need a goal we need a point at the very least Fernandez clutching onto the ball here for Liverpool who are not in a rush to get the ball back in play and underway. Estrada, though, for them, bringing it forward through the middle here. Ngoma, lovely little tackle by the sub, gives it wide to Alex, who lays it inside. Ngoma, caught out with possession, though, and now it's Liverpool on the attack. We've managed to get the ball back, though. Sneddon with a big interception. The ball is played forward. Rojas is there. He's nipped in in front of the goalkeeper. He's found the back of the net. He scored a goal in our last game. He might have just got another massive one for us here. We don't deserve it. It's against the run of play. This came from nowhere. Sneddon won the interception in Goma. On off the bench, laid it forward. Kanate. And then that ball there, I mean, you'd think Ferreira's got it covered, but he's made an absolute meal of it. The subs involved in the build-up play. It's one 1-1 one, one here, it's game on, but we need to just calm down a little bit. There is still football to be played here, and, well, there is going to be at least, you know, a few more twists and turns, you imagine, in this game. Her dad launches it forward towards Alex. Ken, now with the ball inside to Riviere. We've got players committed to the attack here, because we have gone more attacking. A win here is not... I want to say a win here is ideal. A win here would be optimal. That's what I will say. NDIA plays it forward. Celic, the hero, shoots. Oh my word, he has done it again. The former Everton footballer has scored for us. It's two goals in three minutes. Rugby Town are ahead for the first time in this game. Where did this goal come from? Riviere with the ball to NDIA. The decision to move the wings back forwards uh, has worked out for us. This effort here, immense. It's 2-1. It's 2-1, and you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to move them back, because I'm a coward. We don't need to distribute quickly, although we will continue to distribute it to the wing-backs, I think, on occasion. Equally, we don't need to hit early crosses. We can lower the tempo slightly. We have 17 minutes just to ease out of this game here. I didn't pause the game while I made changes. I don't know if this is Football Manager doing a pointless highlight or if something's about to happen. Darwin Nunes plays it inside. Ken, please get it away. Okay, there's 17 minutes. We are going to be going a bit more conservative in a moment. And I kind of want that moment to happen now. Okay, okay. The highlight ends. For a second, I thought something more was going to happen there. Going to shout some words of encouragement to the players here. They've got green, happy, smiley faces across the board. It's the 82nd minute. We are ahead in this game. As things stand, we are going to push Arsenal to the final day. A draw would still give us a chance too, but we want to win here. We want to keep this run of form going, knowing we have Chelsea in a matter of days' time. Ken, drifting wide, lays it to Riviere, who I thought for a second was going to win a penalty. Instead, though, we keep the ball, and then Celic goes down in a heap. He got a goal. He might have just bought us a penalty there. Pavlovich is losing it for them. The number 18 is livid for Liverpool that that's been given. Penalty review is coming in. The penalty is going to be given. A chance here to make it three goals. A chance here to put this game beyond doubt. Roger Ojas steps up. He has one in this game already. He has another in this game now. It is 3 1. We do not give up here at Rugby Town. We have fought back from behind. Massive result yet again. This kind of feels like the Manchester United game, doesn't it? Should we just get a few more? Should we go for five? Five would be fun. Maybe I'm getting a bit carried away here. Alex, he's looked very good as in the Alex, the left backer. Yet again, having an impact. Lays it inside in Goma. Options. Rojas. I don't know how he's missed that. That was for the hat trick. He skied it from two yards out. The changes we made in this game worked wonders. We really mixed things up. We took a bit of a gamble. It has worked out. We win here 3-1. Massive result at Anfield following a massive result at Old Trafford. We have done... Well, a very good job, I feel like, of getting some results in these last couple of games. The final game of the year sees us a point behind Arsenal, but we do play Chelsea on the final day. We have to get a result at home and then hope that Arsenal slip up against Newcastle. 
Oh my word. What a crazy end to the year. It's going down to a fifth and final game. I don't know if we've ever done five matches in an episode before. We're doing it today. Thank you for sticking with me to this point. Oh, don't, don't take your seat. It's not over yet. Rojas, man of the match. Give him some praise. And elsewhere, Bolton credits the team talk. Good job, me. Thank you, Bolton. Appreciate it. Lee Min is injured, isn't he? How long is Lee Min injured for? What, what, is the, what is the injury? How bad is it? Sprained knee ligaments, four to seven weeks. It could be worse. I feel like of all the areas to get injuries, wingbacks we can deal with. Okay, today has been an absolutely bonkers episode. Appreciate you sticking with me. We've got one game left. There is still hope. There is still a chance. Chelsea up next. Don't go anywhere. Not that you're going to go anywhere at this point, but don't leave. We've got one more to do. I don't know if this is a mental statement to say, but going into this last game of the league season, I kind of feel happy with how we've done it. I feel like I've got as good a results as we could have hoped for across the games. I think for us to win all five of these games would have been very near impossible. We go into this last game of the year against Chelsea with a chance. You know, we're at home against Chelsea. I'd like to think we can beat them, especially off the back of the two away wins that we've had. Arsenal are at home against Newcastle. Newcastle are in 10th. Like, that is not an easy game for them. All we can do is try and win. If we draw and Arsenal lose, we would win the league in the most anticlimactic of, well, circumstances ever. I don't think that's going to happen. We just need to win and hope Arsenal don't. That is as simple as it is right now. And when it comes to team selection, I am going to keep things simple. I am not going to change things based on the last few games, I don't think. That does mean that Alex is going to come into the team and play left back. I feel like he's played okay to end the year, at least when we've watched highlights. His actual ratings suggest otherwise. And to be fair, when you look at players' form in the last five games, there's definitely some question marks there. But one man who has really risen to the occasion is Rob. Roger Rojas. This guy has the third highest average rating in the Premier League and in the last few games he has turned it up a level. We need him to do it once more. We just have to do our thing and hope that's enough. At home, Chelsea. Five games in today's episode. It's been a marathon. We're into the home stretch. Let's just try and do something. Irrespective of what happens today, we are going to have taken a Premier League title to the last game of the season, which in itself should be, I think, applauded, especially given our pre-season media prediction, I think, of 7th or 8th. Certainly in terms of the season preview, we've climbed up during the year, but we are definitely not one of kind of the big four teams yet, at least on paper in the Premier League. But what we do have is pluckiness and goals. We have smashed through the goal scoring uh, kind of versus all the teams around us. It is our last ever game, by the way, at Butlin Road. Our our last home game, savour the standing stand for the last time. We have a new stadium next year. We have plenty of memories here. I'd love to create one last everlasting memory. It'd be perfect, wouldn't it, the narrative to win the league here. Win it in our home ground, the stadium that we have called home from the beginning of this adventure. Um, obviously, it's probably not going to happen, but we can just try and win and hope that's enough. Misiak Rojas. He scored again. Is he onside? The VAR ref is going to be called into action again. It's another really tight offside. Six minutes into this game. It'd be an incredible start if we could take the lead here. Is it going to count? No. No, it's not. This must have been really, really close. The ball built up through the middle. Celik, Misiak... And he had just gone just half a second early. Okay, free kick in a wide area. Celik whipping in back post. Misiak, free header. Is he onside this time? The flag's not raised. This one is going to count. We've had the ball in the back of the net twice. We're a goal to the good. And Misiak and Celik, the two centre attacking mids, of all the players in our team that I'd consider aerial threats, Misiak isn't top of that list. But I'll tell you what, he was in the right place at the right time there to give us what you'd have to say early on is kind of a deserved lead. Okay, well, we've got a nose to the head. Let's, you know, let's try and remain calm a little bit. It's easy to get a bit caught up, isn't it, in the occasion. Can you blame me? Makoko playing it forward. Huari reads it nicely. I mean, if we win here, Arsenal have to win their game. The pressure, you know, it's put on them with this early goal. We don't know how they're doing just yet. I'm trying to get not to get too consumed by their game because the reality is they're probably going to beat Newcastle. And this game here is far from a gimme against fourth place Chelsea. But right now, we are looking good. And oh my word, Misiak has scored another. That was better than the first. Sam Faye gets an assist. It's a goal of the season contender when we needed goals the most. 
Unlike last year, you know, goal difference isn't going to be a thing here. So scoring loads of goals, winning emphatically, not the be-all or end-all. But you know what? To score pretty goals like that, that's what being a football manager is all about. That was beautiful by Misiak there. Kickoff highlight. If we get a third, do we start to party? We beat Chelsea in the FA Cup 9-2, and that was against their kind of semi-rotated team. In the league, we've never beaten them by, you know, a handy margin like that. Certainly not 9-2, although not beating many teams by 9-2. to two. We could be beating them again here by even more. Misiak on for a hat-trick, by the way. One-on-one. -on -one. Oh, I'll tell you what, if you'd scored there, that would have been a six-minute hat-trick. That would have been sensational. Okay, around the ground, what's going on elsewhere? Arsenal are winning. Arsenal, you know what, let's just not look at it. Arsenal are winning. Arsenal, is this going to be a second time on the last game of the season we win and it's just not enough? Oh, I'm fuming. Ten minutes left of this first half. Chelsea yet to have a shot on target in this game. We've not created a load, to be fair, but when we have created stuff, it's ended up in the back of the net. Let's hope that trend can continue here. Misiak could have had a chance for his hat-trick. I'm sure he'll get more chances in this game as we're on the attack. Again, Riviere, edge of the box, back in the first team, finding the back of the net. It's 3-0. We are doing what we need to do here. I'll tell you what would be amazing. If you could have like a little picture in picture. Imagine if here I could have like a little iPad with a preview of the Arsenal v Newcastle game. You're telling me in real life this scenario, the manager in the dugout doesn't have a stream of the other game. He definitely does. Maybe next year, you know, FM25, we're getting an updated game engine and stuff in Unity. Maybe we'll be able to have picture in picture. You know, it should pop up if Arsenal or Newcastle, something happens in their game. I want to be able to watch it live. It would definitely add to the drama of this. I don't know if that's a good or a bad idea. Is that a good idea? I actually think that might be a good idea. I might have come up with a good idea. Tipples on the attack here. That would have been a ridiculous goal. Haddad has denied him. Arsenal are winning 4-0. Arsenal are winning 4 -0. I've just seen it pop up in the bottom left. Arsenal, this is just like last year. It, I... In a game when we need the other team that we're fighting against not to win, they're going to win by more goals than we win by. And it's going to win them the league. I'm 4 0. It's just, I'm just leaving it in the bottom corner of my mouse over it. I'm absolutely fuming. <sighs> I mean, I want to be excited. We're beating Chelsea 3 0. This is great. You know, we're looking good. Yeah, Chelsea are on the attack now. It doesn't even matter, does it? Doesn't even matter. Aaron Hickey bringing it forward from the Scott plays it inside. Tuari, Celic, Rojas bringing it forward now. Roger, what can you do? The Costa Rican options in the middle. Can't get the ball in yet, but he has still got possession here. Riviere, he already has one goal from range. Misiak has his hat trick. 30th goal of the season for him from center attacking mid. That is mental. I mean, this is great. What a great end to the year. What a great final four games. It was amazing. If only we'd be an Arsenal. If only we'd be an Arsenal. That Saliba header, that back post set piece. If we'd drawn that game, we'd be champions. We're the champions. It's 4-0. Latest scores and results. Arsenal are winning 5 0. What's the point? What is the point? I mean, I'll tell the players I'm happy. I'm happy with you, lads. You've not done anything wrong today. I'm just annoyed by Arsenal. I feel like Rugby Town are turning into bottlers. You know, end of the last couple of years, it's, it's not really gone to plan, has it? And then I think back to the Man City game as well. Maybe we are just a team of bottlers. We got the FA Cup final, haven't we? Tomorrow. I think we lost the FA Cup final against Arsenal a few years ago. We got Manchester United in that game. That is not a freebie by any means, I should say. Uh, we'll make some subs. Why not? Kanata and you come. Gilliland have some minutes. And Goma, you can come on as well. Who actually, Mosquera, you've not played much lately. You can have a little run too. Misiak bringing it forward. Rojas with it. I mean, this is lovely. That's not, <laughs> that's not lovely. Let's make the subs and get on with things. I mean, Newcastle have got a goal back. Newcastle, I need you to score four more in the next 12 minutes. It's not happening. It's not happening. We're finishing second again. We've got a corner and I don't even want to celebrate it. It's whipped in. Huari's there. It's gone over everyone. Huari, keep it alive, please. He's kept it alive. Riviere into the middle. I mean, second is a great achievement, isn't it? And when you look at the last few games in the ship, we've played really, really well. It's just that one Arsenal game. The one game that we needed to win more than the others. The six-pointer... I mean, we're not keeping a clean sheet here. Harvey Elliott scored. At this point, I just want this match to end. You know, this this is pointless being here, isn't it? I've played through five matches in one episode. Poor editing Jack has to just watch me feel sad to end the video. He has to relive these moments. They're on the attack. I mean, imagine if Chelsea get three goals in the next three minutes. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? I don't know if that'd be funny. I mean, it really wouldn't matter. We'd still be in second. It'd literally be completely irrelevant. Harvey Elliott, he's on the attack again for them here. Bringing it to the byline, crossing it in. Brad Post to dad collects it right i mean 
Should we get it for? We'll try and score some more goals. You know, we're a few more goals. That'd be good, wouldn't it? I've taken off all the big guns, saving them for the FA Cup final now. Ken, what can you do? Ken, cheer me up, Ken. Give me a smile and go, Faye. Through scores. Is he onside? Is he on? The, the linesman's not raised his flag. The referee thinks it's off. I think he's on. Am I right? Am I wrong? I am right. It's 5-1. It's a lovely goal. Then You know what? Let's enjoy it. Murphy and Goma and assists. Last year, last season, and Goma did not contribute to the first team. This year, he's actually played a pretty pivotal squad role on off the bench in the Premier League. I will discuss that and more next episode. Alongside the FA Cup final, we can do a bit of a squad deep dive and prepare for a transfer special. We're going to win here 5-1. It doesn't matter. We've still finished second. And there is your official confirmation. Finishing on 89 points. We get second. 89 points, by the way, is a really impressive return. Uh, for a bit of context here, last year, if we just have a look at things, we ended the year on 78 points. We have got 12 more points. No, 11 more points. Arsenal got 12 more points than us last year. We had a good year last year. We had a really good year. Wasn't good enough this year. Arsenal are crowned champions and I'm just salty. Right, you know what? I don't want to I don't want to look at football manager more today. I'm just I'm too upset. That concludes another Premier League season. 119 goals scored in 38 games is absolutely phenomenal by the way. The team played amazing with the exception of the one game we needed to win. We had such a difficult end of the year and I'm really happy with the results we got against Manchester United, Liverpool and Chelsea. That has to give us some optimism that going into next year with the increased wage budget, a little bit of transfer budget to spend, that maybe the right sales, signings and additions we can challenge yet again at the top. We have a good team here. We're so close to greatness. We've not won anything yet, though. He says knowing that he won the Europa League last year, but that doesn't feel like a real trophy. I want like an FA Cup or a Premier League or a Champions League. We've got a shot at one of them tomorrow. Like I said at the top of things, thank you so much for your support on all 100 episodes of Park to Prem so far. The adventure continues next time. I'll see you guys for it. And until then, take things easy. It's me, Jack. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.